Hello everyone. My name is Rigved and welcome to today's episode where I talk about my experience with Windows 11. So I started my computer with Windows XP like a lot of people. It was my favorite operating system. Then I tried Vista, went back to XP, then I switched to Windows 7. And afterwards I tried Windows 8, switched back to Windows 7. <laughs> then last year when windows 7 support was officially ended then i switched to windows 10 kept it for one year i didn't like the consistency inconsistencies in design of windows 10 and kind of started to hate it hate it and i was pretty excited for this windows 10 update called sun valley which when pandemic started and PC st- PC sales skyrocketed was turned into a new version of windows called windows 11 so i have switched to windows 11 and i have been daily driving it for about one month and here's my review so f- now two things that you need to remember first tpm yes tpm a lot of people kind of hate this requirement but if you have a newer pc you, you already have tpm built in just go to your bios or ufi settings and turn it on and it will be fine number 2 is secure boot this one was kind of rough because i have i've had installed my windows 10 in legacy bios mode rather than newer uefi mode so hard disk needs to be formatted in gpt rather than older like master boot record mbr my hard drive was formatted in mbr so which which i had to convert to gpt there is a tool called mbr to gpt which will do do that for you instantly but if you have partition your hard drive and if you have more than 3 partitions you need to back everything up format your entire hard drive and you have to reinstall everything so that was pain in the butt a huge pain in the butt but i did it and his windows 11 so what do i think about windows 11 i, I like the design I seriously like the design of Windows 11 but it is still inconsistent. So let me show you. This is the new start menu by the way. If you right click anywhere on desktop, you'll get this new breathtaking refresh menu. But if you click show more options, it switches back to old menu. <laughs> so why create a new menu over the old menu rather than just modernizing the old menu i don't get it but the design is inconsistent again this is the new file explorer pretty great and if i let's let's just copy something let me go to downloads folder and uh, let me copy this file to desktop see this copy menu this is the same one from windows 10 <laughs> remember my pc is in dark mode and that's why the file explorer is dark here but this <laughs> this is copy menu is in light mode i don't understand why if i open task manager this is the new task manager it is the same task manager from windows 10 why <laughs> why why is this inconsistent why the inconsistency so let's talk about the start menu overall i like the start menu a lot of people they didn't like this start menu in the center you can just shift it to the left but the 
one on the left is uh, i think it's a little bit weird it looks a little bit weird so i kept it in the center and i like it in the center if it was like old start menu with like, with like windows 7 then i might have preferred the one on the left but this new one i prefer in the center and this is the recommended section as you can see here i don't like this recommended section i i would like to turn it off but it is what it is and again type here to search this should be here at the bottom the search menu and start menu this should be here at the bottom i don't understand why it's on top other than it other things that i'm going to nitpick the new file explorer i like it i like the rounded corners but everything here again is square why is everything else square once again here is here's an interview of apple's software god greg federighi he talks about everything being round and curves, importance of curves. And so um, I will love to hear the feedback of people as they've, as they've really um, made it their system. Like they have the previous Mac UIs for, you know, for weeks and, and come back and say, how do you feel about it now? Um, I think the design team did amazing work. And I, I find, you know, things like rounding, you know, the, the, some of those choices may seem arbitrary, but in fact, it's extremely consistent throughout that whole experience. And I think it's really organic, you know, str straight edges like this are like the process of human manufacturing processes. You know, uh, if you look out in nature, if you look at our own faces, it's a lot of curves, uh, right? And natural curves. And so I think there's something really beautiful and organic about the, the look of the UI. Okay. So you understand it's not just about rounded corners or something. This is, this is about making everything either squircle or a proper circle. This feels incomplete. Here are the notifications section. Uh, overall, I like this thing a lot more than the whole, like everything going dark or white or something from the old windows 10 yeah i like i like the new one better i can't i don't have any notifications right now so let's delete this file oh it's again it's in light mode why all right let's try something else okay let me show you the new settings menu yeah yeah i know app is using my microphone so this is the new settings menu overall i like it if you about the start menu if you want the start menu on your left go to taskbar section in the personalization section of your settings menu go to taskbar behaviors taskbar alignment is set to center just click it on the left see here's the thing it looks a little weird also by default you will have a lot of other things like search task view widgets and chat this is the search thing again it it is here so i don't want it so i've turned that off here's the widget section again no I'd, i'm not interested in microsoft news and whatever so i've turned it off another thing chat uh, chat main thing is like microsoft teams but I'm, i don't use microsoft teams so i've turned it off about the new start menu or rather about new search function it is much much better than previous versions of windows and it is close to mac os's spotlight so let me show you if i click on d and davinci resolve oh it shows best match davinci resolve app davinci resolve.exe the one the f the one file that we copied before yeah it's here it's showing folders 
it is a lot more faster it is a lot more accurate therefore i like the new search function what else yeah snap layouts in the new file explorer so you you can snap windows like this and you can open another one let's say so if i open uh, xbox app for example i can snap snap it and you can multitask much more easily with snap layouts you want two apps side by side you can keep it if you want much one app to be more prominent you can keep it that way if you want one app to be more prominent and two more apps on the right side you can keep it that way if you want to open four apps you can keep it that way snap layouts pretty simple pretty cool i like it another thing is the new clock app and it's here i like this focus sessions thing i like that it integrates with spotify if you are into lo-fi music if you are productivity nerd you will definitely appreciate focus sessions feature in the clock app of windows 11 you can create new tasks here you can you can listen to lo-fi music you can start a focus session pretty neat pretty neat and what else let's talk about performance so i haven't pushed this machine to its limit i haven't benchmarked benchmarked my computer on windows 11. what i have done is i have observed it so this is personal opinion but i think windows 11 is faster than windows 10 on same computer if you have an intel machine which i have then your PC will be faster on Windows 11 compared to Windows 10. Startup time. I don't have a hard drive. I don't have a solid state drive or SSD on my computer, at least on this computer. But when I start Windows 11, it almost feels like an SSD. It is that fast. It has improved a lot more compared to Windows 11. So if you are concerned about performance i would say switch to windows 11 i don't know my what kind of magic microsoft did here but this pc has become a lot more faster in windows 11 compared to windows 10 so let's talk about this upcoming feature android apps coming to Lin windows i think the feature is called a uh, windows subsystem for android yeah wsa so you can install apps android apps directly on windows you can also install new android apps from the amazon app store rather than google play store a lot of people have done a lot of hacks to get google play store working on windows 11 but here's the thing why would you use android apps unless you have a touchscreen tablet that runs windows i think android apps are a little unnecessary or again it could be that some apps are better on mobile compared to web apps or desktop apps for example instagram for ex another example tiktok if you want to use those on your computer you can try it but I think the Android apps features feature feels a little gimmicky and I haven't even tried it. So some issues that I've noticed with Windows 11. You cannot drag and drop things to the taskbar like on previous version of Windows. So if I... Nope, doesn't go. Doesn't go nope can i try it here nope so drag and drop on taskbar in windows 11 doesn't work another thing if you want taskbar on your, the left side of the, your screen or right side of your screen on top of your screen you cannot do it it is fixed at the bottom 
and other things if i push my computer to its limits first thing that freezes is the taskbar i don't know why but it does so let's talk about the new microsoft store overall i like the app section of microsoft store i think it needs to be improved a lot more but i like it i have installed microsoft 365 i have installed discord discord i have installed telegram desktop i have installed amazon prime video i have installed what else i have installed i have installed spotify i have installed netflix these things work fine only major like the big app missing from microsoft store it's google chrome and but that's on google rather than on microsoft but microsoft store it's kind of usable a lot of apps are missing still but the store is a lot more usable compared to windows 10 so i like that what i don't like is the gaming section in the microsoft store look at all these apps w- what what is this there's asphalt 9 legends there's roblox roblox hin climb racing minecraft launcher there's forza horizon like what is going on here candy crush I- mobile games and pc games are exactly the same like what is this get rid of mobile games there's apps for gamers like spotify music xbox amazon music what is going on here this gaming section definitely needs to be cleaned up and it needs to be improved but overall i like it overall i like the new microsoft store what else the photos app okay i'm going to darken my background a little bit so okay here's a picture of my cat pretty cute right if i want to edit this photo wait what happened why is this why does this look inaccurate like way saturated here this is the real picture but it looks saturated for some reason i don't know why and for the editing tools these tools are just basic is the crop feature on top there's filters there are few adjustments in the light section contrast exposure highlight shadows in color section tint warmth then there's clarity and vignette there's red eye spot fix features pretty cool but really basic Compa- if you if microsoft wants this thing to compete with google photos and apple photos uh uh-uh. uh it's not here i remember in the old version of microsoft office i think it was microsoft office 2007 or 2010 there was a tool called microsoft office picture manager and it was really great i'm i don't want photoshop for free i'd love to but i don't have that level of expectation from default app but this is just too basic the editing tools are just basic i don't know why and again this is just weird this photos app really needs improvements another personal gripe i have and this is personal like i said subjective this dark mode is not i hate all dark modes that are not pure black i want amoled mode when i want a dark mode i want an amoled mode i don't want like dark gray mode i want a dark mode when if i switch to light mode so let's try switching to light mode and everything is white okay but if i switch to dark mode this is dark gray i don't know why again google chrome is missing there one other thing 
that I have noticed is the the your phone app here I haven't set it up right now because I've tried it and the notifications feature of the your phone app on on Windows 11 just notifications don't come through the your phone app it notifications will appear on your phone but they're not here on the your phone app which is that's that's supposed to be the main function i don't want to look at another screen i can just manage my notifications here i'm supposed to be able to do that but the your phone app needs improvement so overall what i think I think Windows 11 is definitely better than Windows 10. Yes, but it still needs a lot of improvement. It still, it appears to be a work in progress operating system rather than a finished product. It is better than Windows 10. However, if you want to switch, if you have a new computer, highly, highly recommended that you switch to Windows 11 what are your other options then you can stick to windows 10 till 2025 microsoft has announced that that it will support windows 10 till 2025 so you can keep using windows 10 to 2025 if your win if your computer does not support windows 11 does not mean it that it's old or you need to throw it out especially with current chip chip shortage yeah don't throw out your computer because it doesn't support windows 11 or whatever keep using it your other options that you have are linux operating systems linux distros yes you can use linux if you are if your main work on your computer involves google chrome yes you can definitely switch to linux and a lot of problems that windows faces just linux makes fool out of windows a lot of like those problems that windows faces linux does not have those issues but with linux a lot of a lot of your apps will not work google chrome works that's great steam if you're a gamer steam will work but other than that <coughs> don't expect much from linux distro so if you're a gamer if you're ca if you're someone who uses browser if you are a gamer then you can switch to linux otherwise it's not a great option at least for now other option you have is mac os yes with new m1 sil m1 chips that apple has introduced you will get not only better performance compared to windows but you will also get better battery life on macbooks <coughs> so Mac OS is another great option, but you cannot game on Mac OS. If you are used to Windows, switching to Mac OS will be hassle. And Mac OS, if let's be honest, you need a lot of money for Mac OS. If you don't have that, you can <laughs> you can stick to Windows or Linux. Overall, I'll still recommend Windows 11 compared to Windows 10. If you are in Windows 10 you should upgrade to windows 11 but it's still a work in progress operating system for whatever reason it's not a beta this is final release but it's still work in progress operating system so you can switch if you want to based based on performance alone i would recommend it or you can stick to windows 11 for some time and then upgrade to windows 11 in two, three years or whatever. That's it for today and I'll talk to you soon.